presents 14 Bizarre Deaths. In this episode, you hear about 14 individuals who died in the most horrific way imaginable. So sit back and hang tight, because this is going to be a long ride. Number one, I think it's safe to say that growing up, we were always told not to play with thermometers, as they can contain mercury, which can kill you. Well... Chen Shi Hong was the king of the state of Chen in 246 to 221 BC. He ruled as the first emperor of the Chen dynasty from 220 to 210 BC. He was searching for an elixir to make him immortal when one of his alchemists gave him mercury pills, which is all we know. Mercury is bad for you. And just as you know it, Chen died. Number two. Omira Sanchez was a 13-year-old female who in November of 1985 got pinned by a lahar, which is a mud flow debris flow composed of a slurry or pyroclastic material, rock debris, and water. The sludge went all the way up to her waist. She lived for around 60 hours of being pinned beneath the debris of her house. She was interviewed in her last hours alive. Number three. Adolf Frederick was the king of Sweden from 1751 until his death on February 12th of 1771 when he consumed a meal that consisted of lobster, caviar, sauerkraut, kippers, and champagne. But that's not all he continued to eat. Adolf also ate 14 servings of his favorite dessert, simia or in English, a sweet roll, which was stuffed with almond paste and served in a bowl of hot cream. So you think eating too much cannot kill you? Well, think again. Number four. Boris Segal was a Ukrainian-born American television and film director who was born October 18, 1923. On May 22, 1981, he was in the middle of a production for the miniseries WW3 when he exited a helicopter and walked into the tail rotor, which partially decapitated him. Number 5. Bern Jürgen Armando Brandes was an engineer from Berlin, Germany, who answered an advertisement on a website called The Cannibal Cafe. A cannibal named Armin Melwes posted that he was looking for a volunteer. On March 9, 2011, they met up. After a few hours of weird cannibalism acts, Armin stabbed Bern Jurgen to death in the throat and then proceeded to eat the body over a period of 10 months. Number 6. Jimmy Hesselden was born March 27, 1948. He was a coal miner turned British entrepreneur. In 2010, he bought Segway Incorporated. The irony is... On September 26, 2010, he drove his Segway off a cliff and died. He died from his own product. Number yes. 7. Sigurd Einstein was the second Viking Earl of Orkney. He ruled from 875 to 892 AD. He died when he thought it would be a good idea to strap a severed head to his saddle as he began his journey. As he was riding, the severed head grazed his leg, which became infected and he later died. Number 8. Virginia Baker was born in 1995. At the age of 7, in June 2002, she became stuck to a hot tub drain and was unable to pull herself free. Her mother tried to pull her free, but was unsuccessful. Two men eventually tried to free her, but it caused the drain cover to break. It was too late, though, as she had already drowned. Number 9. Brittany Cecil was born March 20th, 1988. She was a hockey fan who was hit in the left temple when a puck deflected into the stands while she watched the Columbus Blue Jackets play the Calgary Flames at the Nationwide Arena. She died at age 13. Number 10. On July 26, 2015, Xiang Lujan wanted to take her child up an escalator for the first time. As she got to the top, she had her two-year-old son in her hand when she went to step off the plate on top of the escalator. The escalator collapsed and she fell down into the engine. She handed her two-year-old son over to the two staff nearby. They watched as she was crushed to death. Number 11. Diana DeRay was a 49-year-old Nebraskan. Sadly, her and her husband's life was taken from them when on April 3rd, 2009, a 75-foot-tall Taco Bell sign snapped and fell and crushed the pickup they were in. 
Number 12. Jennifer Strange was a mother who entered a contest. The contest was called Hold Your Wee for a Wee, held by radio station KD&D, an attempt to win a wee for her children. She died on January 12, 2007, at age 28, due to water intoxication. Number 13. Vladimir Lagonos was a 25-year-old Ukrainian chemistry student who accidentally dipped his chewing gum into an explosive powder he was using for his studies. He mistook the powder for a citric acid, which he would often add to his gum to prolong the flavor. As he chewed the gum, it blew off his entire jaw and most of the lower part of his face. Number 14. Dr. Hitoshi Christopher was decapitated as he stepped onto an elevator at Christus St. Joseph Hospital in Houston, Texas on August 16, 2003. Witnesses reported that the elevator doors closed as the surgeon entered, trapping his head inside and his body outside of the elevator. An investigation revealed improper electrical wiring was installed by the maintenance company days prior to the incident, allowing it to bypass the elevator safeguards. Thank you for watching the most 14 bizarre deaths. Make sure to give this video a like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy your day. <laughs>